Hi, welcome to Game 2 of the GameFAQs StarCraft Brood War Tournaments of Champion 2009. This is a match between Jumper, the green Protoss in the bottom, and Beefface, the red Zerg in the, to in the top left. Um, one thing to mention about the previous game is that Beefface, during these games, um, he was running Chaos Launcher, and he enabled some setting that didn't allow him to type during games. So he's not a bad-mannered player, he just was not able to type a GG. And he actually said it in the channel after, so don't look down on him for that or anything. Um, I am here commentating with Sonic, Grass, and Lord of Dabu. So, um, Sonic, what do you think about these positions? Do you think they favor e either player? I mean, uh, Jumper's natural is pretty close to uh, B-Face's main, but meanwhile, B-Face's third base is really close um, to Jumper. Well, in these positions, Protoss being at the the 7 o'clock position, it kind of favors Protoss in the sense that he can do his, uh, he can do, you know, cute harassments like dropping DTs, dropping those Stormers, and being able to, being able to have access to uh, Zerg's natural, natural mineral only in the back. And you see that expansion right there, the gas expansion on the left side. I'll, I can I can bet you now that it's going to be left free and open because it's just w much too open for both of them. The Zerg, though, does have one advantage. What? One advantage I'd like to say is that that neutral Protoss Temple is facing the Zerg expansion. So, I mean, if a Zerg gets the Lurker contain, he can easily go for that. And it, it goes right into Protoss contain. Yeah, definitely. Um, we do see that the Zerg, I believe he opened Overpool into a gas. And he's mining that gas. He's going to get that 100 gas, and he's going to go for a fast Zergling speed. Meanwhile, Jumper, he's doing your, again, doing your basic uh, Protoss fast expansion. He's scouted uh, the Zerg right away, so he's going to add those two cannons. Um, yeah, pretty standard game so far. You see Protoss taking a probe back there, making sure to add that pylon right at that temple, just because he knows it's such a, a vital point in this map. Uh, lurkers lurkers actually shred through the layers of temples, so it's actually crucial that you have something to scout back there. I think I'd yeah. just like to point out that uh, Jumper has uh, been a bit of a luck, luck box in the past two games, and found Zerg, 9 pulling. Uh, on his first try both times. Pretty sick. Yeah, I gotta agree to that. He has scouted the Zerg first both times, and as a, as a Protoss player myself, scouting is oh so important in PvZ, and it's very nice to have that luxury of scouting the Zerg player right away and knowing what he's up to. If he's going 12 hatch, you can get that Nexus right away and, and keep the same timing as he does, and if he goes 9 pool, you can get those two cannons and not get like run by it or something. So we see uh, B-Face taking his natural. It looks like he's going to be going for his third base as well. But oddly enough, he's not taking the one behind his main. He's going to be going for the one in the top right of the map. And what do you think about that, Sonic? Do you think that is a smart move, judging by these positions? Oh, definitely. I mean, if Speedlink came out, he can contain Protoss relatively easily. So, I mean, there's no reason to not take that natural expansion. I mean, that's a, it's a given, it's common sense. Next, he'd probably try to get an earlier layer and then get that base on the, his mineral only in the back. And he just ran through two cannons and saved like six lanes. So this is going to cause huge amounts of damage. Terrible, terrible damage. Yeah, this is one of the most annoying things to deal with uh, for a Protoss player. Having those lings in your main with the speed upgrade, they can pick off probes whenever they want to, and yeah. Um, but Jumper's doing a pretty good job of not letting those probes get picked off. He's he's picking off Zerglings himself, and yeah, he's not he's not doing very bad at all. Yeah, I'd say that was an excellent recovery for having uh, lings in your base. That's one of the scariest things the Protoss can face at the beginning of the game. 
Yeah, well, I'm actually really impressed by Jumper's micro. He managed, like, the, the Zerg managed to sneak in six lings into the main with nothing to defend except for probes. And I, I saw Jumper lose, like, maybe two probes tops. I think that one Zergling is becoming more of a liability for Zerg. I mean, his economy is really struggling. He's he's not multitasking as well as he sh he could have been. So, I think it's it's more like a double edged double edged blade. I mean, it, it's going you know it's working for both sides. I think. Yeah, I think uh, the problem was that when when B Face tried to take that second gas expansion, uh, there was a probe there, and since he was busy running the lings through the choke, he didn't realize that a probe took out that drone. So he actually didn't expand there. Yeah, he, he indeed did expand behind his main, and it's a very late expansion, so that was thumbed down quite a bit. Oh, uh, we have a little surprise for you guys. We actually have a guess in this game. It is Jumper. So Jumper, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? I did want to say that when he uh, snuck in my circling, I thought that he would have. I thought he could have like killed the cannon and won the game. It was actually pretty stupid of him to not kill my two cannon and just sneak in in my main. When I uh, when I kill all his circling, I thought that I would win this game because it's like being given a second life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, pretty much whatever we're saying is completely wrong, so it's sort of nice to have Jumper come in here and correct us. Um, looking at the Protoss base, you see he's getting that Stargate, and uh, yeah, pretty standard play. Looking at the Zerg base, he's got those three bases going. He's laying down a Spire and two more hatcheries, so he's going to be doing the same build he did last game, getting those fast Scourge and going into Hydralisk. So Jumper, let me ask you one thing. When your probe came to scout that natural and you saw two hatcheries and a spire, what was going through your mind? I mean, were you thinking, all right, this guy's going to go uh, a lots of links or, or you know, X, Y, Z? On oh, this game or the game before? On this game right now. Well, basically, when I see that, I know he was going to go... Uh, He's not gonna go you know, he's just gonna get spy to counter the uh, Michael fan and he's just gonna mass Hydra. Right, because it's not really a typical build, I mean Zerg don't typically get that many hatches that early. So yeah, it looks like he's doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's called the Neo... I'm gonna butcher this name. Neo Sauron? Something like that build. So yeah, pretty pretty common build these days. These maps lend themselves to that kind of play. So it looks like uh, Jumper is actually going for that Sarah Reaver build again. It seems to be effective on this map just like on the other one just because he has that extra expansion on the back and that choke is pretty small so you can defend pretty well I went for the bill because I could attack his uh, mineral only quite directly if I if I spawn a different base I would not use this I would have done uh, just for that DT straight from the source himself and we see Jumper is going to drop uh, two zealots and a goon on this third base right here um, we're going to see what damage that can do even if he just picks off a few probes that's a big deal I mean uh, Red has to replace those probes or er, drones and he's building drones not fighting units so it's a pretty big deal I mean anytime he can stop from mining from this, uh, this base is actually an accomplishment. I mean, the more time he delays them, the more time Toss can go back, you know, get a Reaver. His Reaver's almost done. He can, he can, you know, keep putting on the pressure on Zerg. And it really helps, because, I mean, Zerg is trying to get that 5-hatch mass Hydras, it looks like, but 
if he keeps getting distracted, then 